Hey YouTube, today I want to show you how to jailbreak any firmware above 2.01 with um, Winpone 2.5 beta. And this is beta, but it still works fine, won't mess up your iPod. And so yeah, here it goes. Make sure your iPod's plugged in and iTunes is at closed out. You don't have to end any processes, so it's a good thing. Now open it up. Look if you're an oh by the way turn expert mode on even if you're not an expert trust me it gives you more features and it makes it a lot easier I don't know why they call it expert for me it's a lot easier turn expert mode on it's gonna say this now also now click I'm an iPod Touch failed to load image yeah I know mine mine says that I don't know why it just never opens up the images but whatever um. So anyways, I'm an iPod Touch. I'm going to hit iPod Touch. But if you're an iPhone, choose iPhone. If you're an iPhone 3G, choose iPhone 3G. Now, for I'm on firmware 2.02. .02, that's the one I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak. But just choose the one you're on. Yes. 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 Do you want to wipe data? Do you want to wipe data? No. Do you want to use custom? Yes. Change that to 1,000. Whoa. 1,000. There it goes. Next. I'm going to try this one more time. It's probably not going to work. I mean, yep, never opens up. It's kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure it'll open up for you, unless it's a bug or something. But anyways, hit next. Now I'm going to pause the video. This thing takes up to 20 minutes. Oh, finally. Sorry, guys. I, this is my like, good time uploading this, and I never got this. No idea why. But, yeah, uh, I believe this didn't work. This didn't pop up on the easy mode, so just keep it on expert mode. Anyways, I saved mine to desktop. Uh, jailbreak iPod Touch. It's 2.02. .02. Okay, save it. Now this takes up to 20 minutes. If it goes over 20 minutes... That means it's your either your internet collection is really 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 slow. Mine does it in about five minutes though, but it could take up to twenty. So I'm gonna pause the video here. Okay, guys, I'm back, but I don't know where the there should be a little the wind poem background. It's down here as you can see, but accidentally mine is out and now it won't open. But whatever, all you need is this. Anyways, now it's gonna ask you is your iPod turned off? If not, please connect it to USB and turn the device off. So I'm turning the device off now. Just normally turn it off. You don't have to put it in DFU mode or anything. And you should hear a beep when it turns off. From iTunes. There it goes. And um, here's... Just hit next here. Since it's done. Once it's turned off. You're ready to start poning. Start ponage. Prepare for pressing the buttons. Okay. Here it goes. Okay, put it in DFU mode in two, one. Hold down, press and hold down the power button. Press and hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds. I'm doing that now. You might just want to pause it here and watch this. Home button for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to press and hold down the home button for 30 seconds. On the right, as you can see. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. I hold mine till it's fully done. Like when that bar goes away. Usually a couple seconds after the bar goes away. Please. Okay, once it gets that, you can release it. Now your iPod, on your iPod, you just see something that says ready to restore custom IPSW. Please use iTunes to restore your iPod slash iPhone with a custom IPSW now. You may let go of the home, the home button. You can exit out of everything now. Now you should have made a, as you could see like five minutes ago, I made, I mean a cup, couple, a minute ago, I made a cu custom firmware, which had custom 2.02 because I was in 2.02 .02 and it was a custom firmware. And you should make one. That's why I said go on expert mode. Because last time I didn't use expert mode, it didn't pop up with that. Sorry if I'm just ranting, guys. But anyways, when you get to here, you can exit out of Windpone. And like it says, go into iTunes. 
I'm gonna pause the video here because my iTunes takes about 45 seconds to boot up. No idea. Okay, guys. And if you're wondering why it took 45 seconds to boot up, I do not know. Maybe it's because I have a lot of music. But whatever. But when you get here, make sure you click on your iPod right over here. I believe you don't have to, but just to be sure you do, I've always done that. So once you get here, sh hit the shift button on your keyboard. Anyone. There should be two, but whatever just hit the sh hold down the shift button while clicking restore now you should get something like this now you're going to want to find the folder or wherever you saved the 2.0 2 the custom restore firmer so if you're in 2.01 you should look for the 2.01 custom restore firmer not the normal one so sorry oh there it is 2.02 just to be sure custom iPod 2.025 this is it see this is the normal one this is the custom it has it in the name so do not mess up guys here and if you do just do it again put it in DFE mode and I'm just going to pause it please do not leave the video guys I need to show you something at the end but I'm gonna pause the video now and show you tell you when it's done okay hey guys um now this is what I wanted to show you hopefully you stick around for this part um, you're going to want to set it as a new iPod because you can have some problems. But if you want to try it, you can have some problems. Not major problems, just like YouTube freezing up. But there is a fix for that in City, I think, or Installer. There used to be, at least, in 1.1.4. But, so yeah, I always set mine as a new iPod. Any jailbreak I do because there's always some problems. So just make sure you set it as a new iPod. So, and hit continue. And, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. So I'm going to stop the video here, guys. And thanks, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Subscribe.